Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to change the oil on a BMW M30. This particular vehicle I am working with here today is a 1984 BMW 733i E23 body style equipped with a 3.2 liter inline 6. The M30 can also be found on the E24, E28, E32 and E34 vehicles. First start by elevating the front of the vehicle. For this, I am using drive on ramps. It's important to warm up the engine as well to allow the oil to flow easier. Locate the oil drain, which is located at the bottom of the oil pan on the engine. This uses a 19 millimeter socket with a 3 8 drive ratchet. Place the drain pan directly below the oil pan plug. Loosen the plug. Normally I like to remove the plug by hand and quickly pull away to minimize the amount of oil that ends up on my hand, then allow the oil to drain. Moving up top, we have to remove the oil filter cartridge which is located towards the front of the engine on the side of the block. Using a 3H drive ratchet, loosen the main bolt on the housing. This holds on the filter cartridge case. I'll give you a better view in a moment once everything has been cleaned up and back together. Ensure the oil drain pan is directly underneath. You may need to break this free a little to get the housing to drop down. There will be oil inside. Let it drain a little if possible, otherwise it can get quite messy when removing it. Remove the main bolt, then remove the cartridge housing. You will need both hands for this. You can dump some more of the oil out of the cartridge with the drain pan directly underneath and have a rag handy to prevent any drips. Dump the remaining oil in the drain pan just to give you a peek at the cartridge housing and oil filter. Clean the housing to remove any old oil or residue so we have a fresh start with a new oil. You can also use a little degreaser and a clean rag. Remove the old gasket and a new one should be supplied with a new oil filter. Clean the mounting surface so it's ready for a new gasket. Install the new crush washers which should be supplied with the new oil filter on the mount housing bolt and the oil pan drain plug. Crush washers are intended for only a one time use. As you can see the old ones here are somewhat deformed. Before installing the new filter housing, I already have the new gasket in place. I also like to prime the housing so on startup the engine isn't starving of oil. A couple of inches of oil its all that's needed in the bottom of the housing. Pair up the old and new filters to ensure they are the same and then install. It's a good idea to wipe the surface where the cartridge housing meets. Put the new cartridge in place then reinstall the bolt and tighten accordingly. It's a slightly tighter spot to work so you will need two hands when working on this procedure. One to hold the housing and the other one for the bolt. This is both for removing and installation. Once everything is back together to give you a better view of the assembly of the filter housing. Here is the oil housing canister at the bottom. Then the main bolt at the top of the assembly which needs to be removed in order to remove that filter housing for the filter. Make sure the ceiling face is clean where the drain plug sits and then reinstall. For filling, you may or may not need a funnel. I did use a funnel as it's a windy day and my strut brace does prevent me from getting close to the fill location on the valve cover. Oil weights will vary depending on where you're located. The owner's manual does have a good chart for helping pick the correct oil weight. Total oil required for the engine is 6.1 US quarts, 5.75 liters or 10.1 pints. To check the oil the dipstick is located at the opposite side of the engine with a yellow handle. Remove the dipstick, wipe clean, then insert again and pull out to check the level. I normally like to do this a couple times for an accurate reading. It should be between the minimum and maximum marks. Start the engine, check for leaks, remove the vehicle off the ramps, and then turn the engine off and check again. New videos are being uploaded every week to my channel, so subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and if you have any comments please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.